Well, welcome to update number 10. Uh, a lot of changes. I pretty much got the entire boat uh, completed. Uh, got the sides painted, uh, bottom painted, the inside painted. I got all the uh, fiberglass work done and non-skid down and everything. I, I got the rudder installed and gauges and Electrics all hooked up, and she's ready to uh, ready to give her a maiden voyage here in the next few days. But I wanted to give you a quick update, show you what it looks like before the discouragement of actually putting it putting it in the water. And the reason I guess I'm putting this video out is my buddy Roy. Uh, he thinks I'm lying about getting this project uh, completed. I think. And so I wanted to hurry up and get this video out so um, to show that, that uh, at least on the surface she's done. So the plan here is I'm going to, I'm going to, I got it all disassembled here so I can show you what I've done and, and then uh, I'll put it all back together and show you what it looks like um, assembled. It's like a... Everything sort of just, uh, first thing I'll show you is my electronics here. I got my, my electrical panel is, uh, consists of, I got this, I got this uh, main run bus right here. Uh, that is the, uh, that, that right there is, is the, uh, neutral. And that's the hot side right there. Uh, this is the run bus, and it's controlled by a switch right down here, so I can isolate that out. So that's like the switch, uh, you know, and that runs my power to the starter and the, and the uh, you know, and the coil and all that business. I have another bus. On this other side, this is for my this is for my aux power, and it's controlled by this uh, switch right here, so I can isolate out my aux power, and that runs my bilge pump and lights and GPS and radio and anything else I want to put uh, I want to run uh, while uh, you know not underway and not operating the engine. Back here is my here is my uh, gauge board. Turned out pretty well. I got my amp gauge. I decided to go ahead and put in after all uh, my water temperature gauge, my oil, my bolts, uh, my ignition uh, power to the coil, uh, electric fuel pump, starter, lights, and tachometer. Down here is my choke, and right under here is the uh, throttle. That's probably not very convenient, but I didn't want to be knocking into it. Um, but that's probably still no excuse. I probably need to move that. Um, on this side here, you can see uh, the, everything is uh, clo enclosed by these these oak panels with the black hardware, and I'll put put those back on. And back here. Back here, you can see my um, new seat. Uh, that's a plank of oak. It's probably the strongest uh, seat in the, in the nation. Okay, let me put the put these tops back on here. Now you can see the setup here. These the radio and the uh, GPS will be mounted. You know the the mounting the mounting brackets are down here, and those will be mounted permanently to this to this. Uh, 
oak top and then when I uh, then I can just take them take them off and put them underneath this cover uh, to keep them out of the rain when I'm when I'm on the hard up here is my little battery and gasoline compartment I'm not too excited about that I, I'm I'm a little nervous about having gasoline and two batteries uh, right in there together in a closed box um, but I've been trying to rationalize myself out of it but uh, it still sounds like a stupid idea to me so I'm probably going to fix that um, at some point what I do is I and this goes right here what I do is I I try to pretend this boat doesn't belong to me and and then try to think how I would think if it didn't belong to me and if I hadn't been the one who thought about this uh, this batteries and gasoline in the same box idea I would have thought it was a stupid idea so I'm probably going to fix it these panels These panels, uh, go right on, let me get off the boat so you can see, Go on like that. And then that makes a watertight compartment. So you can see then finally this is what the, what the boat finally looks like. Got an atomic four sailboat auxiliary engine in a 17 and a half foot wooden homemade boat built by an old man. And as soon as I get me a young and reckless man to go with me, I'm going to put this bad boy in the water and give her a trial run. And so that'll be the next update will be me actually taking this uh, taking this boat out on the big water and seeing if it works. So thanks for watching and we'll see you during update 11.